sheep, mind you, and pigs are definitely stupid. Oh. Excuse me. Huh? Oh, Gypsy, I forgot to give you one of your medications in your meal this morning. Open. Now. No. no. Under your tongue. <coughs> oh. Okay. One more. Mm. Open. Now, Gypsy. <coughs> Stay. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be right back. Can you explain, Nick, first of all, the overall umbrella idea of the act? Because it's an anthology series. Every year will be a different true crime story. Is that right? Yeah, the idea is it's, it's not about the uh, act of crime, the murder. It's about uh, the people behind the crime. And in this case, the act refers not only to the murder, but to the performance that they put on for the world, um, the relationship between the mother and daughter, uh, and um, the deception inside and outside their house. You actually interviewed Gypsy Rose uh, mm -hmm. Blanchard. And um, tell us what that experience was like for you in, in writing the original story and how you came upon this, actually. I mean, you know, Gypsy is a complicated person. What she went through was uh, horrible, um, and it, you know, it damaged her um, uh, in, in more ways than one. I mean, she suffered all sorts of physical um, after effects of, of what her mother did to her. Her mother had her salivary glands removed. Her teeth fell out of her head. Um, you know, her mother uh, asked her to stay in a wheelchair, telling her she would be, she would get more and more sick if she didn't, um, you know, if she, if she started walking. So, so yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it's always like, it's, it's difficult to sum a person up um, that simply, especially somebody who's been through so much um, in the way that she has. And then of course, what happened, you know, later, as you're gonna see, it, it, everybody sort of knows the story. If they, if they get into it, you know, they know right. what happened to Dee Dee and things, but it's how you're handling it and how you're going to reveal all of this that's very unique to this particular project. Right. I mean, you know, Nick and I, like, as Nick said, we, we wanted to do a show that was about something beyond the murder that did eventually take place that put an end to the situation. And yeah, it always feels sort of weird to think about spoilers here. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, um, eventually, you know, Gypsy just felt like she had to get out of the situation. And the only way she could see within her limited frame of reference was this murder. Um, and the tragedy of that and the way in which we got to that tragedy was what fascinated Nick and I and what we thought television had such um, uh, potential as a medium to tell that story in an emotionally immediate way so that people would understand what happened. It's an incredible story, but you actually found the humanity in her too, which I think is very important here. Well, I think one of the things that was really helpful to me was that I found this interview, because usually when you find interviews with parents who are accused of Munchausen by proxy, they're just saying, I would never do that. I would never hurt my kid. I'm innocent. But this case, I found this interview of this woman in prison because her child had died. And through the course of this interview with her, it started to become very apparent that she was mentally ill, but she was insane. So. That gave me some empathy for her, that like there's really something in the thought process that doesn't work, and then starting to look at extremes of things. Extreme codependency, who are you if you don't have a strong sense of self and you have to show to the world and earn to the world, look, I deserve to be here, aren't I a great person? If, if Gypsy was not in Dee Dee's life, Dee Dee would be no one. She would not exist. So there was that extreme codependency mixed also with extreme narcissism. When, when Gypsy wins the Child of the Year Award, the whole speech basically is about Dee Dee. You know, she thinks her mother's her best friend. 
And there are ways to deal with it in her head of getting out and the easiest way, which is as horrifying as it can possibly be. I think what's also really interesting is if you look at interviews of Gypsy today, there's never a moment in which she denies loving her mother, even still. She's like, I loved my mom. I still love my mom. My mom was my best friend. Um, and I think that what you get while watching our show is you can kind of see the thought process that Gypsy goes through with all the things that Dee Dee puts her through to where she would want to do something like that. But through it all, you don't ever lose the fact that Gypsy actually does love her mom. This is horrifying in so many ways, like a horror show in some ways. Um, yeah, I, I just I think I think that it's hard to believe that something like this could actually happen to people and that some you know, people like Dee Dee could actually exist in a world um, like today. And I think the most remarkable part of the story is that um, that Gypsy got out because Munchausen by proxy is a lot more common than we think, but we don't really hear about it because the victims don't usually make it out. They usually die at the hand of their caretaker. So this story is quite impactful because the victim got out.